By the end of this video, we're gonna have a moving platform. We're gonna set up waypoints that you can customize to be however you like. So not just horizontal, but could go vertical too, or maybe diagonal. We'll also make it so either your player sticks to the platform or will slide away and get left behind. Cool, let's take a look. In our series, I've been using Kenny Games Tile Palette. In his tile palette, he's got this cool conveyor belt looking platform. I pulled this sprite out of the tile palette and made it its own sprite so we can use it for our moving platform. If you want this, you can check it out on my Patreon for free. So I'll link that below. So if you do want to use that, I'm just going to quickly set this up after dragging it into Unity. I'm going to set the pixels per unit to be 16, filter mode to be point no filter and compression to be none. Click apply, now we can get started. Let's right click in our hierarchy, create empty, go moving platform. This is gonna be the parent object for all our little grouped platform business. Now, if you right click on moving platform, go 2D object sprite square and call this platform. Then I'm gonna drag my platform image into the sprite renderer. Now, if we right click on moving platform again and go create empty, and I'm gonna call this point A, and then right click again, create empty and call it point B. If you click on point A and look in the inspector, you can see this cube at the top with a drop down. If you click on that and select a symbol, I'm gonna click the red diamond and move it to the left. And then point B, I'm gonna select a blue diamond and drag it to the right. These are going to be the waypoints that our moving platform bounces between. So it's going to go over to the red. Once it's there, it's going to move back over to the right, to the blue. Keep this tidy. I'm going to set point B position X to be free and point A position X to be minus free. You make these positions anywhere you want so they can go up above and it'll move diagonally between these two and go up and down so you can have that one at the bottom and point B at the top, whatever you fancy. I'm just going to do it side to side for now. But whatever you want your platform to do, this script will work. So if we set up our platform now and go add component box collider 2D, and then we'll add another component and do platform effector 2D. If you click use by effector on your box collider 2D now, this will mean that you can jump from below and to up above the platform and land on top. If you also want to be able to drop down from the top and you followed our previous episode where we implemented this, remember to click tag in the drop down and then select platform and you'll be able to drop down on this platform just like any other. Cool, so now let's add a new script and call it moving platform. We'll double click on this to open up. So at the top, let's add our variables and go public transform point A and then public transform point B. Then we'll go public float move speed and I'll set this to a default of two. Now we'll want a private vector free and we'll name this next position. In the start, let's set our default next position to be point B dot position. Then in our update, we'll set our transform dot position to equal vector free dot move towards and we'll pass in our current position, which is transform dot position, our target position, which is our next position, and then our speed, which is move speed times time dot delta time. Cool. Now we want to check if we've reached our destination. So we'll say is our transform dot position equal to our next position. And if it is, we want to set our next position to equal either point A or point B, depending on which one we haven't reached. So let's get some brackets in here and go, is our next position equal to point A dot position? And add a question mark because we're asking you a question. So yes, our next position is equal to point A. So let's set it to point B dot position. Else, if it wasn't, we'll set it to point A dot position. This is basically a shortened if statement and it'll get us bouncing between point A and point B. And that's everything you need to get your platform moving. So let's go back to Unity and on platform, let's drag in point A into the point A slot and point B into the point B slot and click play. Now you can see our platforms moving left to right. Now, if you take a look, when I jump on board, you can see it's moving under my feet. This might be how you want your platform to go, but if you don't want your player falling off and it moving without you and instead sticking your player on for the ride then what we can do is set our player to be a child of our platform but of course we're going to do that in code instead of in our hierarchy so if you just did that undo it <laughs> and then back in our code on our move in platform script we're going to say on collision enter 2d if our collision dot game object dot compare tag is player then we're going to set our collision dot game object dot transform dot parent to be our transform now we want one for on collision exit 2d so we'll go on collision exit 2D. We can copy the same code from above, checking to make sure it's just our player that we're doing. And we'll set our parent to be null instead of transform. Cool, and that should be it. If we go back to Unity, just click on your player and make sure your tag is player, then press play. Now when we jump on our platform, we stick to it. You can stand anywhere on the platform. It just means you'll be coming with. And then you can also jump off your platform and go away. Now, if you followed this tutorial series, you may see that once you've joined this platform, you can't jump anymore. 
That's because we haven't set our platform to be on the ground layer. So if we click on platform and in the layer drop down at the top, select ground. Now, when we press play and we get on our platform, we can now jump on our platform. Very cool. And that's everything. Just so you can see, we can move these points anywhere. So I'll move them up and down very messily. And you can see it's moving up and down just like it was left and right. And our enemy enjoys it as well. You can also make it go diagonal, which is pretty cool. Or just do whatever you want. If you wanted to add more waypoints, just an idea on how to do that, like going around in a circle or something. You can instead put your points into an array on your script and iterate around it, making them the next position. I know you're smart enough to figure that out, so I won't show you how. Unless you want to, and it'll be a very short video. But what I will show you in the next video is falling platforms. These will drop down a short time after our player touches them. So cool, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!